hello guys hi and welcome back to my channel so it's Lillian thank you for stopping by so today in my channel I do lifestyle family motherhood and beauty so today we'll be talking about homemaking and how to be a good homemaker okay things that will, the basic fundamental things that will make you to be a good homemaker once you abide by these simple rules I promise you that it's going to be an easy journey <laughs> Ryan Little. <laughs> homemaker is someone and it can be anybody. It's not specified. It's not simply a mother, a woman, you know that kind of thing. So homemaking is simply, is simply establishment and management of a home. You know, as you are just a homemaker, when, when you manage your home, a woman can be a homemaker, a man can be a homemaker. But generally in the world now, I think it's specified to one specific gender, that's the way. So I have my book here, I'll just be looking down to give you some of the tips and elaborate it so that you know this thing can be easy for us. Okay, this motherhood journey or as a life of a single person can be easy for you while trying to make your home. Okay, so he, these are some of the fundamental tips that will make you to be a good homemaker. You know, first point here is concentration and focus. You know, I want to tell you that as a homemaker, once you concentrate and focus on the daily activities and the daily routines. I promise you that you're going to be a productive day. Let me tell you something. I notice that anytime I wake up and I just go ahead with my phone, like anytime I wake up, like I just pick up my phone. That day is, I'm not going to see a, something useful that I did that particular day. So I advise you here, something that has hindered our ideas, something that has hindered us from being productive, seriously. So what I'm trying to advise you at this particular point is once you wake up, go straight to your duty. Have schedule for going to your phone. I know as we are going to buy, like you want to catch up on somebody so that you can support them. But then set up time, concentrate and focus. I promise you that social media and and, and again social media will make you like when you wake up, you are already in your phone, right? You will not start seeing things, maybe seeing people with beautiful houses traveling. See, you will not start feeling maybe okay, what am I doing here? So all I have to do is just take care of the whole I'll not be I will not do something meaningful for myself. See people are floating, all those guys. So I promise you that once you wake up, go straight to your routine. Okay, focus, concentrate. After everything, you can go to your phone once that is done. So the second point here is simplify and minimalize. Okay, what I mean by simplify is make your house simple, make your room simple. Buy toys that are useful. I know, as maybe if you have a child, you tend to buy any beautiful thing. See, so you just buy for them, you know, kind of thing. You know, maybe in the house you have you have many many shoes, many many chairs, cushions, or other thing. You notice that when you want to organize it or try to made the house beautiful maybe arrange the house you notice that because of so much of loads and every other thing and you see that it will get you tired so i think it should be simplicity is the key and minimalize you know be minimalistic not everything you see sometimes declutter once in three months declutter your kids toys you know all those things will help you declutter their clothes even yourself that some makeup products you don't even use again, declutter them. There's some clothes you don't use again, declutter them. When you declutter, when you try to declutter once in three months, or once, like just make it monthly something, once in three months, four months, you notice that when you want to start home making, when you start organizing your home home making, it will be easy for you because the home is simple already, it's simplified already, nothing so seriously, you know, simple things, things that you need are there, not things that you don't necessarily need. You will notice that in four months you have not used this particular thing. It's time for you to get it of this. You don't need it seriously. The third point is organize and schedule your work. Have a schedule for weekly cleaning. It's very helpful. You know, don't put your cleaning mostly on weekends. You see that you can clean every other day. So that even if you clean on weekends, you see that once you clean every other day, when you want to do the clean on weekends it will be easy for you because you have been cleaning every other day you know organize your work organize your home organize your grocery shopping time when your work are in schedule your grocery time are scheduled and organized you have a calendar you know just bring a look for a google calendar write them out organize them 
when you wake up in the morning, you have done this, you take it out, you have done this, you take it out. You notice that there is this fulfillment that comes in a with it. So if you don't have structure of work to do, you end up not doing anything. That's right. Seriously, like that. you just be parading, working from one end of the house to the other because you don't have schedule, your work is not structured, your work is not organized, you don't have timetable, you don't have routine. So for you to be a good homemaker, all these things should be put to place. So, but one thing again is spread out your work. Don't overload a particular day because it will get you tiring. Spread out your work. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I notice that I tend to like do most of the cleaning on Saturdays, and after that, I get so tired, and that's very bad. I promise you, it's bad. So, just the way you spread, spread out your work schedule, your routine, you know, going for culture, you spread them out. You notice that you feel energized after the day, and you have time to relax yourself, and you have time to watch this few music. Netflix movie and you, know, you have time for your YouTube, favorite YouTube channel to catch up with okay so spread out the workload don't just you know jump back everything in a particular day so, and the fourth point there is organize your work and once your work is organized have a commitment to it see committed in a particular thing do you notice that it goes well you will be productive it's like you yield Profits, you yield increase. So commitment, even this our white street, every other thing you're doing in life, be committed to it. If you see that it's paying you off, take it as your business. Be committed to it, because we just that in a clean environment, your mental health is is at in, at a very good place. So that's what I'm saying. Organize your work and put commitment to your schedule and your timetable and your routines. Okay. This will actually make you to be a good homemaker. So identify and prioritize yourself, your work. So as a woman, set your priorities like yourself. Take care of yourself. You know, I, 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 there's one video I did about feminine hygiene. Team. This is where this comes in. You know, as a single lady, as a woman, you know, prioritize yourself. It's not as if maybe you're making a take care of a home. You not look like that. You look tired because it can take care of a home. No, prioritize yourself self-care because you cannot give out what you don't have once you're in a good state your mental state is okay you know you eat healthy you know you take care of yourself you notice that you get your home will be a peace a peaceful place because you yourself will be happy because we women i think our emotions like take care of the house i don't know how to because you notice that when like we mothers when a mother is not happy in the house you, you will notice the environment of the house would not really be the same. So that's what I'm saying. Prioritize yourself. You know, take care of yourself. Eat healthy. Keep your house tidy. Eat your meals. Uh, early meals in for your kids. Give them meals early for yourself. Maybe if you're into dieting, take your smoothies and your juice or those things. So that's what I'm saying. I'm saying this thing that because you cannot give what you don't have. When you're not at peace with yourself, when you like okay, in your house now you, you I know in your house you have to be like free it's not okay only when you're going out to the office that's when you, you, see, you, you take care of yourself you make up no you, you have to take care of yourself in the home too don't look like okay you don't look anyhow girl in that house you know be tidy be take care of yourself and all those are parents prioritize yourself because of your mental health and for your well-being and yeah this is point here is get to work don't make it requires diligence at work roll up your sleeve roll it up get to work that's when the commitment comes in. Fine, you want to be a good homemaker, you need to work. You want to be this even in life. You know, I see life. I, I I love when I'm talking. I like to, I love to put stuff there like a, something that that includes life in general. Because as a homemaker, you have to work. You have to be like you have to give yourself encouragement and work it out. Roll your sleeve, clean that house and work it out. Don't rely on. You know, fine. Even if you have a house, uh, once in a while, do it yourself. You know, see there's this this uh, satisfaction that comes when you do some things by yourself. I'm telling you the truth. There's this the seven points here. Yeah, we have many other points, but the last but not least is uh, make him comfortable. When I say him, I mean your husband. You know, make him com comfortable because his home is his castle. Allow him to be free in his home. Don't gotta be like shouting. Okay, see where he dropped this. Thing. See where he dropped it. You know, once he see you, he are the one doing all those things. 
he will when you come back from work or wherever he's coming back from he will know that this is my wife that will come and do this after me so let me let me uh, let me just pick up because and drop in where he's supposed to be so make him comfortable in his, in his home let him enjoy staying at home whenever he come back let him drop his thing anything wherever you know at the time he will come along because he'll know that my wife is still the one that will come and do this particular thing so that's pretty much it yeah i if you think that that's the other tips that will help us that will help someone else someone out there to be a good homemaker you can drop it at the comment section i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching see you in my next one bye